Kyle Trask is making an argument to be, if not the best quarterback in the country, certainly the best quarterback in the Southeastern Conference. Trask on play action, throws it down the left sideline, hits a touchdown! The consistency of his performance all year, I like Trask for the Heisman. We now welcome in Florida quarterback Kyle Trask. And Kyle, this year has been a strange one for everybody, not just football players, but for you guys specifically, you guys have had two games postponed and this is obviously not a regular season for you guys. So what has the season been like for you? Uh, It's been a crazy journey, but you know, at the end of the day, I think our coaches and training staff, they put together a great plan um, just for us to, you know, follow and to buy into, just to allow us the um, most amount of chances to go out there and play on Saturdays. When you think about your journey, as a quarterback, it's been extremely long. I, I think a lot of people will think that you just kind of came out of nowhere, but you've been very patient. Uh, your freshman season in high school to now has been a long journey of just waiting. So how would you describe your journey so far? Uh, it's been a wild journey, but you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think you know, all the adversity made me into who I am today. Uh, like you said, it's been a very long time to, you know, last time I started was my freshman year of high school. and. Uh, to wait, I don't know how long it was, I guess around seven years uh, to finally start another game. It's been crazy, but you know, like I said before, I, I want to have it any other way. Like you said, you hadn't started since your freshman season in high school. So then you're thrown into a game, a game in 2019, and then now you're the starter. How do you prepare for that if you haven't had that opportunity for so long? Well, I just think it starts with, you know, the people around me, they're so great. You know, my friends and family, um, they've always believed in me. Um, also, the coaches, you know, I mean, I've had so many great coaches around me throughout the years to just prepare me for these moments, um, you know, especially Coach Mullen and Coach Johnson and this coaching staff. Uh, they do a great job of you know, giving everybody a rep. So, you know, if something happens, uh, the next man up will be able to produce just as much. I've read a lot of things where people said that you're a very loyal guy. You're patient and you're loyal. Florida was the first team to offer you a scholarship. You decided to go with them um, even after you were getting other Power Five uh, recognition, some other Power Five recognition. You decided to stick with Florida, and then being the backup behind Felipe Franks, you decided to stay patient. What about Florida? Is um, what has allowed you to stay there and just be so patient? You know, it's a dream school. You know. Uh, you know, so many people come to Florida for their vacations and we get to live in this uh, weather every single day. You know, it's also a great uh, academic university. Um, yeah, it's also just a blessing to, you know, have my degree now from Florida. Kyle Pitts is one of your teammates and he's been a guy that's completely taken the world by storm this season. So what have you seen out of him this season? You know, Kyle Pitts is a very, very hardworking and uh, humble kid. and. You know, we've always had that connection for the last couple of years, you know, because when he first got here, we were both backups, so we were taking those reps together. And I think that chemistry is kind of just built from there and, you know, blossomed into what it is now. So you guys have both been in the Heisman conversation, both you and Kyle Pitts. Uh, there's other guys that are in the conversation. Also, Mac Jones, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. I'm not sure if you watch them that often, but if you do, what have you seen out of those players? Um, they're very, very talented. Uh, they're very special players. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's very, uh, it's such an honor just to have your name in that conversation. I know um, all of those players, including myself, we're just focused on, you know, taking it one game at a time and, you know, doing whatever's best for the team at this moment. When you think about, you know, you haven't had this opportunity before, you, this is, you really are taking the college football world by storm. Did you expect this from yourself? I mean, you've been waiting for so long. A lot of people will be like, you know, just wait until I get out on the field. Is this what you expected your season to look like? You know, you kind of got to have that confidence in yourself and, you know, um, that faith in yourself that you're going to go out there and do well because, you know, it all starts in your head. And if you have a clear headspace and you've worked really, really hard, then I don't see why you couldn't go out there and produce, especially uh, the way that uh, these coaches prepare you for Saturdays. I saw somewhere that you said that throughout this entire process, throughout your entire career, you've just trusted your gut. What has your gut been telling you? You know, just to trust the process and you know that, you know, hard work's gonna pay off. You know, there is a moment, I think it was, you know, two years ago when a lot of people were expecting me to transfer and. And I wasn't really sure what I was going to do because I was still the backup and I wasn't really 100% sure about anything. 
mean, like you said, I just trusted my gut. You know, I, I knew I'd eventually get my opportunity. So, you know, luckily I, I think I made the right decision to just stay and uh, uh, wait for my shot and make the most of it. So was there a time that you were seriously considering the possibility of transferring somewhere else? Um, you know, like I said, I wasn't 100% sure about anything um, going on at the time. You know, I was kind of just, I mean, lock in, locked in um, to the program at the time. And I couldn't see myself leaving at the end of the day. Uh, you know, especially going to uh, get my degree uh, so soon. So, you know, I figured it was best for me to just stay and wait for my opportunity. The fact that you had your injuries, you broke your foot, you had things that you had to overcome. What would you say is the hardest part of your journey? Because a lot of people would say, you've been sitting on the sideline waiting for a very long time, but you still had a lot of other hurdles that you had to overcome. Yeah, I mean, it was tough, especially the second time I broke my foot. Uh, Cause you know, I, I and I was battling for a starting job at the time. And, you know, th that Wednesday in practice, I you know, broke my foot again. So I was kind of down for so long. I felt like I was finally coming up and then there I was down again. So uh, I think it's just very important to have a great support staff because, you know, that was a really hard time for me. But I think the people around me, you know, my family and friends did a great job of just uh, keeping me up and keeping me motivated. After you leave at the end of the season, what do you want your legacy to be at Florida? You know, I just want someone to, you know, look back on my uh, career here and just know that, you know, you can do anything you set your mind to. It's not always going to be pretty. And you know, obviously, you know, early on in my college career, I had uh, a couple injuries. Um, yeah, and I was sitting on the sidelines for so long. I almost got my degree before I even stepped foot on the field. And, you know, you really can just do anything you set your mind to. And, you know, once you get your opportunity, you just got to make the most of it. So I know what the PC answer to this question is. Uh, when we ask you about your Heisman hopes and what you kind of want to do with your career and the legacy that you want to leave and possibly winning the Heisman, um, I know that you want to focus on winning an SEC championship. But when you think about your Heisman hopes and the possibility that this could actually happen, what do you think about that? It's such an honor just because so many special players have, you know, received this trophy and, uh, you know, been in the conversation so many times in regards to this trophy. But, you know, like you said, you know, it's something that I'm not really focused on right now wholeheartedly. You know, we're kind of just taking it one game at a time. But, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, it is an honor just to be in that conversation. All right. Well, good luck, Kyle, this season. Hopefully we see you uh, at least in the final four and you get to hoist that Heisman Trophy at the end of the season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.